everyone. This is Todd Hurt, Product Manager at West Penn Wire. Today at our West Penn Wire workshop, we're going to look today at um, our four pair UTP cables, our Category 5E design or Category 6 design, and our low SKU, um, nano, free, nano SKU or SKU free style cable, and the difference between both of these. Now, if I take a look at both these and side by side to each other, we have the Cat 5 and then we have the SKU Free. And uh, looking at them, they look identical to each other. You know, the color codes are exactly the same on the primaries. The size of them are, uh, the size of these cables are very, very close to each other. So, what applications are used for which one? Well, first off is our Cat 5E which is used for a lot of different applications, but primary application is networking, uh, local area networking, but it also can be used for CCTV and some digital integration applications. Each pair is twisted different. Every pair has a different lay on, on it uh, throughout the uh, cable. And the, reason, the primary reason for that is for uh, crosstalk. We want to keep information confined to its own pair. We don't want any crosstalk bouncing from this pair over to this pair or from this pair to this pair. We want to keep that information confined to its own pair. By doing that, uh, as a manufacturer, we twist each pair at different rates. So that, again, this, this Category 5 e-cable is used for networking up to uh, 100 meters in a, in a local area network. It can be used for voice applications. Um, and it can be used for some video applications. Um, one application it really can't be used for is what this cable is used for, and it's for component video. Red, green, blue, horizontal, vertical sync. Now again, this cable looks very similar to a Category 5E or a Category 6 design because of its color code. Um, you have the white, blue, blue, white, orange, orange, white, green, green, white, brown, brown. Same as a Category 5E cable. But this is different um, based on the twists. In a nano screw or a screw free design, each pair is twisted at the same rate. We're not worried about crosstalk. We're not worried about digital information bouncing from this pair to this pair or from this pair to this pair. We're not worried about that. We're worried about our red, green, blue horizontal vertical sync coming into the cable at the same time and being received at the uh, projector uh, or display device at that same time. So we're worried about SKU and that's why we call it SKU free or nano SKU. SKU is how much distance there is between one signal to another uh, coming into the video uh, display device. And we, remember we want to get that information to the display devi device uh, at the same time, the red, green, blue, and horizontal vertical sync at the same time. So each pair here is carrying uh, red, green, blue, and the next one would be horizontal vertical sync. Now, can this cable be used in a digital data network? No, it cannot. And the reason is, again, because they're twisted at the same rate, there would be a lot of crosstalk between each one of these, uh, each pair. Jump back into a Cat 5. Can this Cat 5 be used in a component video application? It can. We don't recommend it, uh, but it's going to be for very, very short distances. Again, because we're twisting these at different rates, so the amount of copper between each pair is varying. So if you try to send a red, green, blue horizontal vertical sync into a Cat 5, they're going to be received at the uh, display device at different times. So there would be a high... Uh, degree of SKU or delay propagation in a Category 5E cable. So just remember that even though these two look uh, very, very similar to each other, their applications are very, very different. Thank you.